over the course of your study of mathematics, it's a particularly useful skill to be able to translate, or that is to rephrase particular mathematical statements into a different phrasing that might be easier to get your head wrapped around. And over the course of our study of real analysis in this, in this video series on metaphor math, We've talked about three different languages, I'll say, I'll say languages, that we, we phrase different statements in. The language of closed sets, the language of open sets, and the language of conversion sequences. And it's not only important to familiarize yourself with each of these languages, but it's also important to familiarize yourself with how to translate between different languages. Because one statement stated in the language of conversion sequences might be much clearer in the statement of open sets or vice versa or same thing if a, a statement stated in the language of open sets might be might be much clearer in the statement in, or in the language of closed sets so we want to be able to translate in between we want to be able to translate between these different languages and an important tool to translate between these different languages is the notion of limit points the notion of limit points this is pivotal. This is pivotal in being able to translate between these three different languages. So what is a limit point? Well, I'll start out with a definition and then I'll give a little pictorial illustration or representation of what a limit point kind of feels like so we can kind of get a better sense of what what how, how what a limit point feels like. So so a limit point a limit point of a set S is a point, so I'll, let me just write this down here, a limit point P of a set S is a point such that every open ball centered at P, every open ball centered, centered at P contains a point in S that's not equal to P, contains some Q, some Q in S where Q is not equal to P. Okay, so let's kind of give it, get a sense of what this, what this kind of looks like. And again, I, I encourage you to, to abandon your geometric notions and your, your pictorial notions of some of these concepts because, because uh, sometimes, because it can sometimes be limiting and it can sometimes put you in a box when it comes to trying to prove something or solve a, particular diff a particularly difficult problem. But for now, it's nice to kind of get us going and get a sense of what this, what this concept looks like and feels like for us. So if I have a set S and all the points in the set S are everything, everything that's within this blue line is a point in S. So all the black that's in this, within this blue boundary is a point in S. So this is our set S. And check this out. A kind of good representation of what a limit point P, again, I'll say, I'll say feels like, is if I take a point, say here, on the blue line that defines S, then every, every open ball centered at that point has area, has an area has some area that's also in the set S and therefore has points that are also in the set S. And I think this is a good, good way to, to initially get us going and thinking about what a limit point is.